James Hogg was born in Winnipeg in 1935. The youngest of four children, James was not particularly interested in school, but was passionate about sports, especially hockey. His mother, who was a nurse, urged him, though, to get a good education. When his father passed away at an early age, his family moved to Sioux Lookout. Starting out in northern Ontario in Sioux Lookout and working as an x-ray technician, and then translating that into medical school where he came under the tutelage and influence of uh, Dr. Joe Dope, who um, inspired Jim to consider research as a possible medical endeavor. I had no idea what a career in science would be like. I went into medicine clearly with the idea that I would uh, go into practice. He went to medical school on an Air Force scholarship, served in the Canadian Air Force in Nova Scotia for some years. I was a medical officer in the Air Force for three years. One of those years, I worked with a man named Charlie Bryan at the Institute of Aviation Medicine in Toronto. So he suggested that I go up uh, to Montreal and uh, try research, so I did. And I worked with Peter Macklem, who was a, a wonderful uh, mentor, and uh, the late Dr. Whitey Thurlbeck, who was a very unusual pathologist. And I had to train as a pathologist, really, in order to get a job. He knows more physiology than most physiologists, and then, of course, he's an expert in pathology. So that combination uh, is pretty unique. Jim Hogg initially characterized uh, the major physiological and pathological features of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. He made a discovery that the increase in resistance, which characterizes most of the common lung diseases, occurs in the very smallest airways. That actually led to a lot of uh, increased clarity as to what emphysema was and what chronic bronchitis was and what the medium-sized airways in between were doing to contribute to uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. That's a contribution that is unequaled in that realm of COPD research in the entire world. Since then, he has studied the disease extremely carefully in a wide variety of settings bolstering his initial hypothesis and moving on to cogent hypotheses as to why some people get it and other people don't, and which is, at the moment, the most important question. Jim has uh, immeasurable passion for, uh, for understanding uh, lung diseases, and he, he has never wavered from this uh, incredible energy that he brings to uh, questions about uh, lung disease and how he could make uh, people's lives better. To come up with a problem, make a discovery, and then follow that up over a career of 35 years using progressively more sophisticated technology to answer the same question, but at increasing levels of sophistication and accuracy. And this is remarkable professional development. In other words, he was prepared to change with the times in a most productive way, and I think that's unusual. Since 1977, when UBC recruited Dr. Hogg from McGill to St. Paul's Hospital, he has built a world-renowned center for pulmonary and cardiovascular disease that is now named in his honor. The perfect storm of, of skills and attitudes uh, to not only pursue his own research, but also train others. It's a very strong field of investigation in Canada, and he is its leading light. And that foundation in such an important condition as COPD or asthma on the other side is really uh, most worthy of the recognition that he's going to receive. I think one of his major regrets was that he did not end up being uh, playing left wing for the Toronto Maple Leafs, but you know that's okay. You know I think the world is much better served by him uh, pursuing the biomedical research career. For the longest time, I thought I would like to be a hockey player, but I, I had no real talent, so I had to give that up. <laughs> his coach told him no, that he was good, but he wasn't good enough, and. You know, that was a discouragement to Jim, but it stimulated him to uh, try harder and, and to move into different things. And uh, that ability to get up after a discouragement and to push on, I think, is one of his key characteristics. His career is a remarkable one, 
and one that we all should emulate and honor. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. James Hogg.